Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today I am working on a project because I had something very, very scary happen here on the homestead. And that is that my pigs ran out of water. All right, quiet down, EG. Trying to film here. All right, so we are, um, it's June of 2020. It's starting to get hot. It's starting to get humid. And this water barrel right here, if you look right down here, it's got the nipple waterer for the pigs. And it ran out of water. And this area here is where I happen to have the majority of my pigs. One of the problems with this water barrel is where it's located at. So I don't normally come into this paddock. I'm normally where I'm at is over outside this fence right here. And so usually I am feeding the pigs from this area right here and I can't reach that barrel that's over there. Now I have another barrel that's very similar to that barrel, which is right here. And I can move it, see whether or not there's water in it. I have the same situation with my boar, the next paddock over. But that barrel is a bit of a problem. Part of the issue is that when I am feeding the pigs and so forth, um, I am usually on my way to work or I'm on my way home from work. And so I'm not dressed to go into the pig paddocks with the pigs. I don't want to get all the pigginess all over me. My co-workers, I don't think, would appreciate that. So anyhow, so here we are. What's up? What's up? Coming over, showing us some love. These are great pigs. American guinea hogs. They're just great, great pigs. Great pigs. Anyhow, so what I have come up with is this situation here, or this, we'll call it boondoggle, or as my son Brian Wells Jr. likes to say, homestead, homestead hack, hack job. job. All right. So this is my homestead hack job here. Let me take it apart. Oh, man, I thought I emptied that out. Well, we will sit there. This is more of a hack job than I thought it would be. All right. So two cycle oil there. All right. So let me disassemble this and show you what I have done. So first of all, I have a piece of plywood here on top of the barrel. Um, that will help keep out mosquitoes. I had that piece of uh, mosquito netting that's over there on the ground. I had that here on top and I had it tied down, um, but now I won't need that. So what I did is I took a piece of sewer pipe. It's got the holes in it. You could use regular four inch pipe. It doesn't really matter. And really the size of the pipe, what's important is whether or not your float. So this is, I've cut it to the length of the barrel. And so a little bit sticks up outside of the plywood. Then I have here a float. This is just a, a toilet bowl float, and it fits inside that pipe very, very well. On the end of this, I got a piece of fiberglass. Um, I think this is considered electric fence netting. I picked it up at Tractor Supply for I think a buck forty-nine, and then I've used a hose clamp to attach all of that together. So this fits down in that very nicely. But the problem was initially I was having is what well, doesn't kind of stand up straight, which I guess maybe isn't the worst thing in the world. But again, I'm trying to make this not look quite as much like a homestead hack job. So what I did is I got a cap, we drilled a hole in the end of it. That fits down over there very nicely like that. The holes around the edge are kind of covered so the mosquitoes shouldn't be able to get down in there to breed. And then what I'm using right now is an indicator, and maybe you could use a tennis ball, whatever you want to fit over the top here, but I have this two-cycle oil bottle. I drilled a hole in the cap, that fits over there like that. And so now, as the water level goes up and down, that's going to show me how much water is inside this barrel. And I should be able to see that from over there. So I will know when I need to fill this water barrel up and hopefully my pigs will not end up in that situation again. I was very, very scared. Some of them didn't act, they didn't act right. Uh, or, well, they didn't act 
if you say act right with regards to pigs, but they just, they acted a little off. And uh, I think it was because they were starting to get dehydrated. So it's a scary situation, but hopefully we've got that taken care of. And this will be helpful to you as a way to be able to see how much water is in a barrel. Now I know there are some people that have ideas out there where you take and put a piece of clear tubing up the side and you put a cork in it and that will tell you your water level. That's not going to work well around pigs. They're going to chew that clear plastic tubing right off and your barrel is going to empty right out onto the ground. Now I know some people might say, well, Brian, you should come in here and check this more regularly. And that's probably a fair statement. But again, keep in mind, when I am feeding my pigs, generally I'm on my way to or from work, I'm not dressed to come in here. Some might say, well, do it on a schedule. And that's another fair statement, except my pigs have a tendency to like to drain this barrel and create a wallow right here. Keeps them cool. So they could drain this barrel and I would never, ever know it. So hopefully... You'll find this, it's a simple hack, homestead hack job maybe, but I think it's gonna work out well. What I may end up doing, if this is successful, I may trim this down to fit the barrel a little bit better, make it look a little nicer, um, and maybe secure this a little better to the barrel so that the pigs can't knock it off. So we'll see how things go, but right now, that's what I've got going on here on 3B Farm and Homestead. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and oh. like it, give it a thumbs up, Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell down there so that you're notified of any time we put a video out. And also, right now, I am doing a podcast called the Homestead Journey Podcast. And I am trying to post those podcasts over here on YouTube. However, if you want to have them when they're released, go ahead and jump on over to your favorite podcast player, Apple, Stitcher, Google, Spotify, whatever it is that you like to use, and subscribe. You can also check us out on our website, thehomesteadjourney.net. Until next time, everybody, keep up the good work.